job is come home. Those were Russian forces moving in. Looks like they're burning the city to the ground. Yeah? Well, the Ruskies aren't ready for what's coming. Nobody is. We need to get off this ship in one. Attention! The hatches are opening! Get down here! Now! Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some Call of Duty Nazi Zombies gameplay for you. Gonna be showing you a little bit of the Darkest Shore early. I showed you the intro right there, and my gameplay is gonna chop around a little bit, basically show you as much of the map as we have unlocked. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull any of the new weapons out of the mystery box because there were additional unreleased new weapons in the mystery box that were not covered by the NDA that cannot be shown off yet. And I can't show you too many of the Easter egg steps as well, though we did make a smidgen of progress. I can talk about them though. But let's talk about the map The Darkest Shore. It's very neat aesthetically because you're playing inside of a bombed or destroyed city so each thing that you unblock is a new component of a city or a new dark twisted area or thing that you've seen before in real life. A theater, a museum, a church, a warehouse. It's all something that's familiar to you but at the same time very creepy. The map is very dark and I don't mean that in the scary or depressing sense. I mean just in the literal uh, lighting sense it's very very dark. I've done some things to the color correction here to turn it up to where you can see everything much more clearly but you may want to adjust your brightness settings so that you don't miss anything easter egg related. The map has randomized radio locations that are different each time you spawn in and you have to find the radio radios and enable them to open up new parts of the map and work on easter egg locations. What's neat about these radios is that part of the step is turning them on and the other part of them is setting them to the right frequency you can manually work the dials and knobs and set them to all sorts of different stuff, which we didn't entirely figure out, but we tried really hard. Inside the church, you will find a massive table of frequencies and radios and radio model numbers and frequencies that you have to match to the model number depending on where you are on the map and use a magnifying glass to look at the map to get the location to do tons and tons of complicated stuff. The Easter egg has like 40 items to pick up. I hit the little guide button to see how many Easter eggs there were and it was two rows that went almost all the way across the bottom of my entire screen so that was really really huge. There's dead humans in the map which is weird and you're like well yeah it's zombies everything is a dead human and you know they have bodies and stuff but no I mean there are like characters that died minutes before you got to the map that are important to the story or easter egg and their bodies stay there persistently. There's a dancer who seems to have committed suicide who's very central to whatever story they're trying to tell and there's several human soldiers that I did not make it to in time to save. I'm not sure if I can save them period or if their deaths or bodies are essential to the story but when the additional human NPCs die their bodies stay there and they appear to be interactable in some way as part of some easter egg. Moving on, there are three different melee weapons that you can pick up, the nail bat being the coolest by far in my opinion. You find them on bodies or in random places around the map. They deal more damage than your basic shovel and you can do charge attacks, so they're better as far as I can tell. Hopefully I know what I'm talking about. And inside the church, you can put them in and out of various stones to complete the easter egg. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is there are now challenges for zombies. You have daily and weekly and like quartermaster zombies challenges that you can pick up to get zombies unlocks and zombie crates just like you can in multiplayer and I don't believe those were there before so that's something new and I'm not a zombies guy okay I'm a zombies peon I'm a zombies peasant zombies is almost an entirely new game on its own now that functions different from multiplayer so I'm not going to pretend to expert you about if this map is good or bad or if the easter egg is easy or if it's hard but I'm just going to let you see the raw gameplay and let you make up your own mind about it and uh, I'm going to go back to PAX, and I'll be back home in a couple of days with some more COD content for you. Drifter out.
Germans. <laughs> 